11 players you may have forgot signed for Leeds. In goal it's Ross Turnbull. After a four year spell on Chelsea's bench, in which he claimed he would rival Petr Cech, make 19 appearances and pick up a Champions League winners medal, Turnbull would find himself at Leeds via Doncaster and Barnsley. Yet again, Turnbull claimed he would fight Marco Silvestri for the number one shirt, not literally, but 14 months, one appearance and a broken ankle later, Turnbull is nowhere to be seen. In defence it's Adam Smith, a key player with Bournemouth, Smith actually had a loan spell at Ellen Road back in 2012 when he was still with Tottenham Hotspur. Signed by Simon Grayson, who was sacked the following day, Smith would make three appearances before returning to Spurs. I don't think it was the signing of Smith that got Grayson the sack. Next it's Alan Tate, a former Manchester United trainee. Tate was best known for his 11 years with Swansea. It was a tenure that was interrupted with loan spells though, one of which was with Leeds. Tate racked up 11 appearances for the Yorkshire club, 11 more than he ever did with the Red Devils. He's alongside Andy Fai. Signed on a short term deal after his release from Stoke in 2010, Fai would only spend 6 months with Leeds and then retire from the game completely. And at left back it's Fede Bassone, who signed a 3 year deal with Leeds in 2010 after rejecting a new deal at Swansea. A product of the Barcelona Academy, Bassone admitted that his performances for Leeds were open to close scrutiny which basically means he was useless. He is now with AA Pratt, who will play in the fourth tier of Spanish football and is by no means symbolic of what Leeds fans thought of him. In midfield it's Michael Tong, another former Manchester United youth player. Tong was best known for his time at Sheffield United and would be reunited with Neil Warnock at Leeds in 2012, initially on loan then permanently, leaving the club in 2015. Next it's Barry Bannon, recently seen at Ellen Road with Sheffield Wednesday, the Scottish midfielder actually had a loan spell back with Leeds in 2011. Not that the home fans cared when Bannon returned, they were too busy celebrating Chris Wood's winner in the Yorkshire Derby. Our final midfielder is Mika Vyronen. Not to be confused with the Finnish accordion player, the midfielder arrived at Ellen Road in 2011 and left eight months later. Vyronen would go on to play for LA Galaxy in the States. United States. Up top it's Paul Zikov, famous for his playoff goal for Manchester City, the Scot is less famous for his time in League One with Leeds back in 2010. The club had to get special dispensation from FIFA to sign Dickov after the striker had already played for two teams that season. Making just three appearances without finding the net, was it really worth it? Next it's Burnley's Sam Vokes. The big striker is famous for his goal against Belgium at the Euros last summer and is playing his part in keeping Burnley in the Premier League. But he actually played for Leeds in League One back when he was still a youngster in 2009. Vokes scored one goal but it's up for debate which goal was more iconic, his strike against Bristol Rovers or the one that helped Wales reach the semi-finals of a major tournament. And finally, it's Dougie Friedman, who actually had a pretty fruitful spell with Leeds, unlike a lot of this team. The striker helped Leeds to the League One playoff final in 2008, scoring six goals. Unfortunately, they lost the final to Doncaster and Leeds remained terrified of the playoffs. So that's our starting 11 of players you may have forgotten signed for Leeds. Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.